Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerSportsBetting.com. This weekend, great fights. Just be very careful, right? The Adonis Stevenson Sakio Bika fight, which will be shown on network TV, tips off at 3 p.m. Eastern Time, noon Pacific Time. Right, again, that's 3 p.m. Eastern Time, noon Pacific Time. Don't fall into the trap of expecting it to happen late at night, right? It's not. So just be alert, right? Again, that's 3 p.m. Eastern Time, 12 p.m. on the Pacific Coast, okay? If you're in the United Kingdom, do the math. Figure it out. Just understand that fight's going off at an unorthodox time. You don't want to miss it. Let's also point out that the New York Times today has a great article on the last man to beat Floyd Mayweather. It happened in the Olympics. Floyd, as you may recall, won the bronze, not the gold. Right? By the way, the guy who beat him, who ended up winning the silver, openly admits that there may have been some politicking behind the scenes that that fight and the final fight that he lost to the gold medal winner may not have been scored on the merits, right? You want to go to the source, understand the guy who beat Floyd believes he would have received a million dollars from his government had he won the gold medal. And he's still bitter about the way that last match was scored. Right now, I have long believed, I've said here online, that I believe one of the most exploited group of people in the world are amateur athletes. Right? If you're silly enough to believe that the Olympics are actually an amateur competition, then you simply don't understand how countries can compensate their athletes or how sponsors can compensate their athletes. Even in 1996, right, the guy who beat Floyd in that Olympics is telling you that he believed there was a seven-figure pot at the end of the rainbow if he were able to have won the gold medal. He believes, by the way, he actually names the people behind the scenes who he believes are responsible for the scoring on his last fight much as Floyd's people believe Floyd was robbed in his fight, understand the guy who beat Floyd believes he was robbed in the gold medal round fight. Let me also point out too, in my opinion, and you can have whatever opinion you'd like, I'm just sharing mine. An argument can be made, a strong argument, that the two best Olympic boxers we've had, right, since the Seoul Olympics, we're also two of the best pro boxers, Roy Jones Jr. and Floyd Mayweather, right? Neither of them won the gold. I can tell you I actually watched the Roy Jones fight as it happened, right? I was just by chance in front of a TV. There's no way Roy Jones lost that fight in 1988. Let me point out that it was so ridiculous that they actually named Jones the best fighter of the Olympics. To which Jones responded, if I'm the best fighter, why didn't I win the gold medal? Right? Now the Floyd fight is close. You could look it up here online. In my opinion, it could have gone either way. Right? Unlike the Jones fight, the Floyd fight's close in 96. But all I'm saying is when you're an amateur and you're dealing with nationalism and all this other nonsense, right? A lot of things enter the equation other than merit, right? Whether that's the Olympics, whether that's, dare I say, the NCAA, etc. Let me also say, too, and people here know that I'm a free market type guy, right? I'll reveal my agenda. Let me put all my cards on the table here, right? You have crazy situations when you're dealing with amateur sports where... The guy at the university bookstore is making $10 an hour selling the jersey of a basketball player who isn't getting compensated for the transaction, right? You have many people out there, many, who will say, hey, isn't the kid getting 
and education, right? The next time you, the superstar employee, decide that you want to ask for a raise and someone then says to you, hey, aren't you getting compensated already? You need to introduce concepts like market value into the conversation. Otherwise, the conversation is not a serious one. If we're going to set up some ridiculous system where, you know, these days, the Kobe Bryants, the Tracy McGrady's, and the LeBron Jameses of the world wouldn't even have the option of going pro, right? They're forced to go to college, such as the system. You could be a great high school player. We're going to say, hey, you need to go to college right? at least for a year. That's why you have powerhouse schools like Kentucky feasting off this foolish one-and-done rule structure, right? If we're going to have setups like that, isn't it a bit ridiculous to then tell the athlete who's from, let's say, a working class or less background, where the people he graduated from high school with have jobs to help pay bills, where the idea of a trust fund is not a local one, it's something you just hear about on TV. Nobody you know has a trust fund, right? Not even the adults around you have received an inheritance, right? If your neighborhood is filled with more renters than homeowners, more employees than employers, right? Isn't it a bit ridiculous for us to tell someone of voting age, you know what? Even though thousands of people are willing to pay for your talents, if you were allowed to pursue your craft, we're going to step in the way of that and force you to play for nothing. Worse yet, we're going to have people jumping out of the bushes every time you have a new pair of sneakers. We're going to want to know, hey, who bought you that new coat? Where'd you get that money? Right? Anytime you have a system like that, it's exploitation. Anytime you have a system like that, in my opinion, politics and scoring plays a bigger role than it would if it were a market-based transaction, right? I've never seen the end of an NBA game look remotely as corrupt as the ending of the 1972 gold medal basketball game between the United States and the USSR, right? Nonsense like that only happens, in my opinion, in the amateur ranks, right? I encourage everyone to read today's New York Times, go to the sports section, read the article on the last man to beat Floyd Mayweather. Understand, Mayweather feels robbed from that bout. Understand, the guy who beat Mayweather feels robbed of the gold medal. He didn't get the million dollars. His life, let's say, is very different than what it would have been had he, right? He doesn't believe the playing field was level in that gold medal fight. I encourage you to give it a look. Thanks for stopping by.